I got a lanyard then moved into residence, but I think I lost it. I probably whiffed this lanyard countless times. It's kind of a weird thing to do, I don't know why I whiffed it. The semester ended a week ago. It felt fast, but it felt like nothing happened. I started the term feeling excited to make new friends in tackle school. I didn't know what to expect, but I expected to manage just fine. Orientation went by quickly. It felt kind of like a summer camp. Illusory. Temporary. Oh, university has been kind of weird for me so far. Not in like a bad way, like I don't like university because I kind of like it. But it just doesn't feel real right now. It feels like I'm kind of at a summer camp and I'm just staying here temporarily. Because like everything is temporary and I'm just going to like, return back to where I was before, but I, I guess I have to kind of come to the realization that this is a permanent change. Um, I woke up one day imagining that everything would go back to normal and I would soon leave my friends to go back to Markham. Of course this never happened, I was at Waterloo and I would stay here for the next five years of my life. So what happened this semester? Well, during orientation, I tried my best to talk to new people, but found myself quickly forgetting everybody's names. School felt easy at the start. I was multiple weeks ahead, usually. Over time, it felt like cliques were forming, and the once open vibe of orientation wearing off. It felt easier for me to be around who I was comfortable with. I settled into a friend group and didn't think much of socialization. I got lost in school. I kept thinking about how to get better and better at studying, more and more efficient. How come when I was learning calc I spent so long on intermediate value theorem? I learned that before, so the details should have come in easily. Did I not do enough higher order thinking? What grade do I need to get a 95? How far am I from being in the top 10%? This thinking led me to skip class because I could study faster. But I had to apply to jobs, hundreds of them. I had no work experience. The comparison was starting to go crazy. Instead of interacting with real people, I competed with the versions I had of them in my mind. This pattern would repeat itself over and over again over the next four months. I locked myself in my own room, isolated myself from others due to comparison, and took for granted the many things I had in life. Most events felt mid, even the most memorable ones. Everything blended into an everyday feeling of sameness. It was okay, I guess. I went to parties, party, celebrated my birthday, I went to another party, applied to jobs, did some gossiping, visited friends, came back home for a week, got a piercing, went to a concert, did some fencing, got a job, and made a beaver. I think if I made a super vlog of all of this content, it would actually look fun. But perhaps what's most indicative of my everyday experience was one day when I filmed a day in a life. So, um, sit in my room most of the day. It was just a normal day at Waterloo fucking engineering, bro. When exam week came, I broke down. I couldn't sleep the night before my first exam. It felt like I had wasted an entire semester prioritizing the wrong things. Constantly feeling insecure about myself, constantly having to validate myself by comparison with other it's people. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. I'm guessing it's like 5 or like 4.30 or some shit. Dude, I've been trying to sleep since like 11.30. Okay. Yo, I think I'm going crazy, bro. I had a, uh, I had a little like emotional breakdown at like 3 a.m. a few hours ago. I was just sitting in bed and I was like... I don't know, I was just in bed and I was thinking about this term and how much I focus on academics. And I was like, why am I so stressed out about this final right now that I can't sleep? And I don't know why. And I feel like because of my focus, well maybe not because, I don't know why exactly, but I've just been noticing that I haven't been putting as much effort in other areas like um, being a good friend or being a good partner or something. Um, 
or even just like learning my own things, learning things that I want to learn through self-directed learning. <sighs> and I mean, I've been thinking about this before, think of dropping out even. <laughs> like, why am I so busy? Why am I always so busy? Why, why don't I have time to do something else? And I guess the solution could be dropping out or just caring less or getting smarter slash studying better. But I feel like it's kind of funny how this exam week, my sleep schedule has been getting progressively worse and worse. I'm on like a prom sleep schedule right now, but there's no prom to be had. It was just me in my bed trying to fall asleep, but I couldn't fall asleep. I'm mad right now. I don't know, I'm mad at myself for not being able to fall asleep, but I'm also mad at myself for, for how this term went. I feel like it could have went better. I did get smarter. I just started studying better, but I think I lost a lot of other things that are important to me in the process. I mean, you can just see from the YouTube videos. I've only been uploading like, I've only uploaded like two. I only read like one book this, this entire semester, this entire four months. And so I don't know what to do now. I'm here in the fucking parking lot of my university. 5 a.m., 5.15 a.m. Fucking Sigma males on the grind are up right now. And I haven't even started sleeping yet. What the fuck? I'm pissed, bro. I'm pissed. It feels ridiculous that I would be in this position. Whenever someone would tell me, as general advice, that grades aren't everything and that you should take care of yourself, I found it trivial. I scoffed at it, like, bro, how could you ever let your grades be that important to you? How could you ever be so behind? And then it caught up to me, the person who cared the most about optimizing studying, about studying smarter. If you ask me what I'm thinking about doing right now, I don't know. Back at home, I get a constant barrage of messages from my parents that I'm not doing enough, that I'm behind right now in terms of employable skills. And I know there's something I just want to work on, but feeling the effects of how last semester went, I just want to bum around and play Civilization VI all day. I have a list of goals I want to accomplish, and I'll be moving to Uganda soon. Knowing me, I don't think I'll get them all done, but maybe that's okay. Said you're coming back, but I won't lie You wanna act, try to fool me twice Hot trapped in the moment I see it hurting just like you need in your eyes Cause you don't wanna fall
classic though. 